within 10 feet of you, there's more Venus flytraps than people ever see. Okay, I'm gonna let you try and find them. And think small. It doesn't bode well that I can't really see any. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> nice. that's, the, that's the aha, I see them response. <laughs> These two came sort of naive to me thinking they were just going to get involved with a little plant project and I think probably they ended up learning a lot more uh, about politics, uh, development, uh, law, um, and all kinds of other things. So first we uh, you know, got in touch with the Solid Waste Authority and got permission to be on their land as well as this piece of land that they allowed us to make the Botanic Bank on. Um, from there, it's just coordinating with uh, Mitchell and I to uh, get out here, uh, just do it the old-fashioned way, shovel, bucket, and uh, move them best, best we can. Uh, we had to work fast as far as the solid waste land goes. We had to work pretty quick before they came through and, you know, covered up the whole area, putting down their, their base roadway. And we kind of surveyed the area for different plants, such as pitcher plants and fly traps and things like that, and we came across some pitcher plants. and. We dug them up and transplanted them here. And we did that for about uh, for three months, uh, w one day at a time, uh, once a week. Uh, and eventually we got uh, over 100 plants moved, uh, both in Solid Waste Authority land and uh, DNR land in Lewis Ocean Bay. Uh, I guess they got what we would call a true experiential learning uh, experience here. They learned a lot more, I think, than, uh, than just how to dig up plants and move them from one place to the other. So this right here is one of the sundews. Uh, this actually isn't one that we found and transplanted. This is one we actually just found here. So this is a, a new guy. You know, we, we transplanted some plants here to kind of get the botanic bank uh, a start and then hopefully they will reproduce on their own and, and fill the botanic bank and this sundew right here is is starting proof that they are going to be able to to reproduce on their own and uh, fill the botanic bank. I always knew there was a need for you know preserving the environment and things like that but you never really understand how close to home it can be and, and how simple of a of a project it can be. Uh, the, the environment is getting smaller and smaller with every new parking lot and house plot. And the best thing we can do is try to preserve it one, one acre at a time. It's something as simple as one roadway moving the plants out of the way that can, that can help uh, negate some of the aspects of development. We really want to uh, work with all development projects in the area. If we have uh, landowners, if we have uh, environmental consultants, if we have developers who are out on land that's going to be developed and they see some things, call us, get in contact with us. We'll come out there. They're just darned interesting plants and we'd like to do everything we can to save them.